everybody. Good morning. We're going racing today. Really, we are. Uh, today we're headed up to Ethel, Washington. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's E T H E L. Uh, we have an off road event that's racing up there, and we're going to be participating in that if we can pass tech. We will find out in just a few minutes. Uh, I am 25 minutes away according to Google Maps on my phone. And once we get there, we're going to head in the race line and see how it goes. Uh, heading up to meet a couple of friends up there that I made up at the uh, Los Center Washington Rally Cross event. Rally Cross is next weekend, just so everybody knows. We're actually going to start participating in like sanctioned racing events by like the SECA and stuff like that and we're going to be building the car and parts and doing a whole bunch of stuff to try and bring the company to where I want it to be in the performance industry. Uh, everything's a growing process and this is just another one of those steps. I got to get out there and start seeing what works in order to see what I need to make. Talk to you guys in a minute. So we passed tech. Uh, that, I'll show you guys the uh, parade lap around the track. I got uh, kind of a private tour by the golf cart for most of it. Uh, definitely fun and we're going to go over and talk to everybody and get ready to start racing. Show you guys when the action starts. First race coming up. Let's get this on the road.
So, we just finished the parade lap. Now we gotta sit and wait and watch while they do the, it's a king and queen, prince and princess racing. So you got the girls going first, boys going second, ladies going third, and guys going fourth. So we're kind of stuck to the end of the day. Here's Sean, and we're going to sit back and enjoy the show. Talk to you guys later. hours we're running uh, elimination races and we're hopefully gonna make you guys have been stuck back here a long ass time holy shit we keep walking away from the cars coming back when there's a gap and moving forward so i got somebody up at the front of the line that's got an open passenger seat if one of you guys wants to override if i fit i'm in oh well, we'll make you fit <laughs> okay, so we've been in staging for about two hours, which I'm not going to make you guys watch that, so we didn't. Uh, but what I do know is I just got to ride along with a Jeep, and I couldn't get it on camera because the camera was in the car, and I only had a couple seconds to like make the call and go. But, sorry, I'm shoving my phone down so it's secured. Uh, the Jeep. That's the first time I've ever done a reverse entry in a four-wheel drive Jeep. It was that we were hauling. I mean, I was just in there to uh, get a ride along, and you know, those ride along fun. So much different than this car. It's like, okay, I want to build one of these this winter. I've got enough stuff laying around the shop. I can actually do it. So that might be an upcoming project. No, scratch that. That will eventually be an upcoming project. So. We're about four cars from the end of the line before we go. So we'll be heading out here in a couple minutes.
I wound up getting eliminated by the Subaru Coupe that we're running with today, Sean Gibby. Um, it is what it is. We were both hauling pretty hard. I know uh, everybody was saying I was going through one and a quarter full four wheel drift, so for the automatic Subaru, that's pretty cool. Those guys are so much louder than we are. I kind of miss my truck now. Um, yeah, it's been a great day, and we're going to be moving on to see where it goes from here. Uh, might be back tomorrow. Uh, find out in a second. And we're back. So I went for a ride in that. That's Sean Kibbe's car. Uh, definitely a fun ride. Um, because I was eliminated by it, I went for a ride in it. And it was fun. We had you know, a little bit of a spin. He's got, I think that on his camera, he's going to upload it. But we had a blast. Uh, we're going to be back tomorrow for uh, the relay race in the morning. I think but I'm about to run out of camera recording so I'm gonna go ahead and just be selective and get some shots of those guys running over the jumps out here today and I'll talk to you guys in the morning get that first one in I'll be able to get everything else on and that one last bolt is just gonna be a well at least get thing. that last one yeah I'll get it started, get it started. Yeah. I can impact no, it up to where the impact will start but that's where I'm like well if I need the like water. try dipping in a little bit of oil so it lubricates everything yeah. to go up it might actually go off because I think it was just corroded threads combined with being a little cross threaded it was cross threaded and it was pressing the bracket so yeah. it may go in here <laughs> Kirsten Jeter. <laughs> yeah, I want. That's where I want. Holy shit, that's a big ass one. Hey, look, that's where we went sideways yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> or backwards, I should say. Is there a bumper impression? <laughs> <laughs> that was your door that went that, I think. I know. <laughs> okay, so we're not going over that, we're going this way. It's like pavement, man. Extreme. That kind of got the fun one. Run away. What do you mean? Oh, because you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, yeah, I can hit whatever the hell I want. And I don't have the power to really destroy my car. Yeah. I swear if you air down your tires. I, so. I'm 30 PSI down. They, they don't really get much lower. I can run them on like 0 PSI and they're the freaking same. It's because the sidewalls are thin fly and they're just, yeah. they just don't flex. I had the, there's a guy that ran snow tires in a bug and he was running, I want to say, like something like 8 PSI. And he, just, he could just push in the sidewall with his thumb and he was running like that. But at the same time, I just don't want to pull a tire off the beat. You got one spare. <laughs> I'm more worried about destroying the tire because I just bought these last time. Uh, <laughs> My bladder. Okay, so is this that sneaky one? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I don't remember going up before launching. 
Oh, I do, because I was about right here. And right about there's your digger mark. Really? Yep. I don't, all I remember is the ground disappearing. <laughs> yeah, because it's a little bit faster and it just goes away. I'll try and remember that. You can have this legged left. Oh, wait, no, we're running full left. We're running Never full mind. left. I thought we were going to have to choose what part of the course we run. Uh, I, that's the way it kind of sounded at first, and now yeah. it's like, I actually like this because it's like a full yeah. lap relay. It's actually like a cross country relay for track and yeah. field. Actually, that's exactly what it is. Just applied to cars. <laughs> this is the area that just beat the crap out of me. Gas pedals on the right, Grandma! <laughs> Sideways, and I was sure I'd be right from my finish. I came through that one, and I see you sitting over there. I'm like, damn it! <laughs> but I felt like I did a lot better the second or yesterday's run than I did the day before. My first run against you was pretty good, other than I did stop and but the rest of the course was good. Right. That was my faster run still. Because on your well, when, when like you with me, night. not only did we have to stop and back up, but we had that slow motion, you know, yeah. we had to wait to, to stop moving and then this slowed us down too. Oh, I just continued right up and went over it. <laughs> I got ground clearance. Yeah. I'm not worried. Plus hmm. you're gonna you tire, you can rub a tree and keep going. If I rub a tree with a tire, it's my fender that's gone too. My front fender gives and my rear fender I can rebuild. Somebody's like, why don't you make a nicer rear fender? I'm like, I had this whole uh, the rear fender is a like free look. fly too. My rear That's, fenders? Yeah, I mean I've cut these with a grinder wheel and they're oh, three layers they're thick. thick. And then I added three twenty-two gauge just cut, sliced, and overlapped on each other mm -hmm. to get that bend and contour. And it's like that shit's not moving. Period. I clipped a tree at 80 miles an hour with it and it got a little kind of like a tweak in it. Oh, nice fresh soft stuff. I like. Ooh, this is our kind of shit. Yeah. For the first run. And then we'll turn to their stuff. It won't be our kind of shit by the time we get to it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you go there and then they take off there. Okay. No, wait, never mind, we're still on course. No, nope, that's a barrel set. See flags. Oh, you maybe go through that yeah, way. Yeah, you go through that, and then the they gotcha. launch into that corner. That's cool. Into the sweeper, awesome. Man, my GoPro better not shut off today. <laughs> I wish I had my filter. Engine transmission here, this would be so badass. Hopefully... On your GoPro, I want to finish when you launch. I want to be the, you know, because if you can see me go by, that'd be awesome. And I want to see those videos. <laughs> Mine will probably shut off. Rocky here, but slidey. I like that. Huh? That'll be kind of like that. Huh? Yeah. Where's the finish? What? Oh, finish is back. No, finish is where you go. What? You're, you're starting, oh, yeah, yeah. starting finish but line. To go, we keep going that way. Yeah, we so. keep going that way, cut back around, and go back around that corner. Right. Now, we come out here, we do a roundabout, and then we... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, 
A lot of them are running hydro steer too. <laughs> You'll notice that a lot of them are running hi full hydro. Okay, so today we are doing the relay race slash like cross country challenge event that I was talking about earlier. Uh, we are in the staging lanes. Uh, you guys have just seen a little bit of footage that I was able to get from where we have to stand. But now we're going to be doing it. It's in car footage, so it's not, you know, what I really want. But the one camera is all I got. So I'll talk to you guys after the event. pretty competitive which we had one uh, Jeep one of the Jeeps out here on our team so that probably helped with our competitiveness but it was a great time had an absolute blast probably gonna be heading back here at the end of the month uh, so we'll definitely be doing this again uh, this coming weekend just so everybody knows we're doing ORG Rallycross that's going to be a riot too. Uh, maybe not quite like this one, 
but supposedly we'll be getting 10 runs in. So, we'll definitely be being active at least, uh, provided the event doesn't get canceled or anything like that. I don't know why it wouldn't, but whatever. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoy the videos. Uh, we'll be doing some more fabrication work and stuff like that because now we're starting to expose the real weak points of the car. Like uh, all the bottoming out I was doing going around some of that track. I've been talking to some of the other Subaru guys and I know I'm learning some of their tricks for how they're setting the cars up. So we'll be working a lot on getting the car set up for that. I hope you guys enjoy the videos. If you want to, uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a like. Uh, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Have a nice day and talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.